As we make our transition into A2L refrigerants, it's important to understand why we're adding mitigation controls to our units. If we look at our R22 molecule, we have a carbon atom at the center. We have two fluorine atoms, one hydrogen and one chlorine, hydrochlorofluorocarbon. Unfortunately, it had ozone depleting potential to it because of the chlorine atom. So we replace the chlorine atom with a hydrogen atom to create R32, which is a hydrofluorocarbon. The downfall with R32 is that it is mildly flammable. So while most of the world was okay with R32 for the refrigerant back in the late 1990s, we weren't ready for that in the United States. So we blended R32 with R125 to create what we know as R410A. It was a non-flammable refrigerant, but it was a blend of that 32 and 125. When we move into our new generation of refrigerants, we're gonna see both R32 in its single constituent form, but then we're going to blend it with R1234YF. It brings the global warming potential down, but it is still a mildly flammable refrigerant. So in our residential and light commercial applications, we're going to see both R32 and 454B. Pressures and temperatures very similar to R410A, but because they're mildly flammable, we're going to add a mitigation control to our equipment with a refrigerant detection sensor so that if we happen to get an elevated level of a refrigerant leak within our coil or within our space, we're simply going to shut down the outdoor unit and we're going to turn on the blower and we're going to dissipate those gases. Get your periodic table poster with refrigerants at escogroup.org and select the online store. While you're there, check out our low GWP safety training course. And for the e-learning course, go to the HVACR Learning Network.